Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is SOAP and how is it different from REST and we are going to compare SOAP and REST and see which is better. So if you are familiar with SOAP, so SOAP is a simple object access protocol. So uh, you can uh, transfer SOAP objects in terms of XML format over HTTP protocol and then you can um, uh, use those objects and formulate those objects and then do whatever you want with that. So why do you need soap right it is important to create a application which is um, which you are with which you are able to communicate over the internet so that is when soap uh, started so initially when soap started people wanted to uh, transport data from uh, one website to another or they wanted to ship data from um, one place to another over the internet so that is when soap was invented okay and soap um, what it did it, it wrapped around lots of stuff inside it and then it it was shipped over the http protocol so basically soap uh, has lots of building blocks basically if you notice here this is the uh, skeleton of a soap message so you can see an envelope you can see headers body you can see uh, some data inside that called fault okay so in general soap has a specific type of uh, format like you have to have a namespace you have to have different type uh, attributes so for example you see here there are different types of attrib attributes and stuff like that so you need to have all those things but in terms of rest you don't have to do any of those so if you notice here this is a typical rest message so you have a success success uh, which says false and payload you have some data and then there is an error code that's it so that is a uh, rest is as simple as that so rest is nothing but uh, representational state transfer so so how are they different right so how what is the difference between soap and rest both are in uh, html uh, http both are uh, transaction over http protocol but still uh, how is it different right so if you notice this particular tabular uh, column so it clearly shows the difference between the soap and the rest protocol so um, soap is basically a xml based message protocol however rest is a architectural style protocol so we will see uh, in depth about rest in uh, in few moments um, so uh, let's come back to soap right so soap uses something called wsdl uh, format for communicating uh, between the uh, producer and the consumer okay so however rest with with rest you can do whatever you want so you can even use xml or you can use json so whatever data we saw here this is json data so this is nothing but javascript object notation okay so that is nothing but json if you want to transact xml you can do that as well in rest okay uh, also so uh, soap invokes the services by calling the remote procedure calls however rest is all like url path okay so soap if you notice here soap's responses are not that much readable so you, it takes a while to understand it has soap colon envelope soap colon body and stuff like that however rest in terms of um, looking at it it is easy for us to understand it says uh, okay error has code and message something like that okay so that is a difference um, in the in the readable format okay also the transfer of uh, soap is uh, over http most mostly uh, rest is always http you can use smtp ftp etc in so uh, soap um, also another thing is uh, javascript can easily call the soap but it is difficult to implement however in rest right so you can easily call the uh, rest um, um, message or you can easily call the http endpoint and get that message um, in javascript very quickly because if you are using json it is very easy so json is nothing but javascript object notation so okay so the performance is not great compared to so uh, soap if you see it's heavyweight if you notice uh, soap message uh, it is heavyweight right so you are just sending a price and you have to write so much of code for that you are uh, you are having basically lots of ceremonies which we don't require however in terms of rest it's all gone you just concentrate on whatever data you want okay so that is why rest is always uh, having um, better performance than soap so if you notice um, Martin Fowler, he has uh, proposed, uh, he has uh, created a blog post on um, the Richardson maturity model. So Richardson is a person who had created uh, different levels based on the REST approach. Okay, if you notice here, he has created uh, different approaches or levels basically called as level 1, level 2, level 3. Okay, that's what we are going to see. What is this level 1, level 2, level 3? All right. So before that uh, we have something called level 0 as well so he hasn't named that level 0 but if you notice by default soap is level 0 
so basically whatever you transact over the http protocol okay so that is all level zero so soap is you can transact um, uh, data via http so soap is level zero okay so that is what is mentioned here so i'm not going to go in detail of what is uh, what but i'll just uh, brush up so that you can easily understand so our other easy way to understand soap and uh, rest is consider uh, an envelope right so soap is like an envelope so you have an you have a cover and then you put something you you so you put your papers inside the envelope and then pack it and then send it over so soap is something like that however rest is like a postcard so if you see a postcard you it's all open right so whatever content you have it's all open so that is like rest is something similar so it is not that much secured but um, you can make it secured in, internally in the application however soap if you see it it is much secured uh, and it is like uh, not everybody will able be able to decode it quickly you need a wstl to decode stuff and something like that okay so that that is the basic difference between soap and rest so in terms of understanding right so the next uh, one is the level one resource so level one is like um, uh, what he said uh, what Richardson, uh, Richardson says is that uh, you need to have resources basically so resources in the sense you need to have uh, rest endpoints in terms of resources so for example instead of having a big resource you have a um, you introduce something called resources <coughs> instead of having a big uh, rest endpoint you have a, instead of having a single rest endpoint you have resources basically for example if you notice in this particular example it says doctor slash m jones and then you have slots one two three four so you have different rest endpoints so basically these are different resources rather than having a single rest endpoint you can easily query based on a particular resource so you can say slots one two three four and then you can get that particular um, data for that particular resource so those are called resources so uh, rest is majorly concentrated on resources so that you can easily uh, update those resources for example if you notice here you, on that particular resource you can do something so you can do a post for example on that particular resource you are doing an appointment so on that particular slot you are doing an appointment so um, so you can do operations on that particular resource so that is the level one resource the next one is the uh, verbosity so in http um, for rest right you can create uh, urls in terms of uh, verbo so you can you can have um, resource paths in terms of uh, creating uh, verbal uh, communication right so for example if you notice here these are like doctor slash m jones slash slot so this clearly shows that this particular rest point is specific to m jones slot and he is a doctor okay and if you notice here the other one under the slots there is a number one two three four so you can control the one two three four slot number one two three four uh, uh, separately so if you notice here the location is all separate right so slot slash one two three four slash appointment so you can do you can cancel the appointment or create the appointment or stuff like that you can do all right and and if you notice here the names are all like verbose so i'm not saying get uh, slots or i'm not saying get m jones slots or something like that okay so that is the uh, level two that, that that is what richardson says the last one was the is the hypermedia control so you have um, um, something called hetos so hypertext as the engine of application state so basically you have uh, links within a link so if you notice um, this particular response right you have a response and internally inside the response you have a link to another um, rest endpoint basically so you, i'm saying that okay for the doctor m jones the link for the uh, slot id 1234 is this so basically you have um, you can access another rest endpoint from this rest endpoint so that is what um, uh, the hyperlay the level 3 says the hypertext uh, or the hypermedia control so you can have uh, hetua is implemented as well so you don't have to worry about linking uh, the data within the same response so you can use that as well so that is another major uh, changeover in the rest All right so these are the different um, uh, uh, differences between soap and rest so if you uh, notice rest is very lightweight and you have lots of control over rest um, it is all verbose you can do hypermedia controls as well so that's why rest is popular now if you if you personally ask me rest is better than soap i would say uh, you add uh, yeah there is a security concern in soap but however in, in rest actually but uh, you can have um, uh, controls in the application 
uh, using like uh, if you see the latest uh, spring uh, security and spring mbc's right so you have lots of security options inside spring mbc uh, you can add spring security and control your uh, secure your rest endpoints based on authentication and authorization of a different mechanism so um, it, it is it is lightweight and it is good so rest is uh, lightweight and rest is good soap on the other hand is it it, it is heavyweight and um, and it is outdated if you ask me personally so um, so that that is the difference between the soap and the rest uh, hope you understood what is the basic uh, criteria between soap and rest so choose uh, your uh, protocol wisely okay so until then meet you again in the next video until then see you guys